Hi, Jacek Laskowski here from IBM Worldwide Web3 Competitive Migration Team. In the first installment of developing Java EE6 applications with IBM Web3 Application Server version 8 and IBM Rational Application Developer version 8, I'm going to present how to develop a simple RESTful web service with JAX-RS, part of Java EE6 release. IBM Web3 Application Server version 8 is a fully certified Java Enterprise Edition version 6 application server. It supports JAX RS 1.1, which helps or is developing RESTful web services. IBM Russian Application Developer 8 is an integrated development environment based on Eclipse IDE. It supports development of JAX RS 1.1 applications and is fully integrated with IBM WebSphere Application Server version 8. Let's see it in action. I'm using the Java EE perspective and I'm going to create a dynamic web project. The project name will be Conference. Select WebSphere Application Server v8.0 unless it's already selected and specify IBM JAX RS configuration in the configuration section. Add this web app to an ear file. The context root of this web application is conference and we do not need web XML deployment descriptor. As the JAX RS implementation library will be using the one provided by the web application server and select update deployment descriptor and press finish. Close the technology quick starts window and create a new package for your JAX RS artifact. Classes. The package is created, so now it's time to create a new class. Name the class conference and press finish. We'll create a new project class that will contain the details of a conference. So we specify a string name, string date and the third item, third field called URL. Use source, generate constructor using fields to generate the constructor. Select name, date, URL fields so they will include it in the, in the constructor. Use source format to format your class you've just created or modified. Save the changes. Now I'm creating a new class. Class for JAX RS. I'm not going to type all the details, so I'll paste the, the, the content of the class. So we have a path annotation with a URL. We have a local database, or so we call it get method that produces application JSON content another method get method that produces application JSON as well the difference is that this method uses ID parameter time for the third class 
specifically for Jux RS. The class will serve will will be called conference application and will extend application class from Javax WS RS core package. Again, I'm gonna paste the, the content of this class and explain its details. The class uses application path that specifies where JAXRS resources are available. It extends application class and specifies get classes overrides get classes method that specifies which classes provide JAXRS resources. Let's have a look at the services node that provides RESTful services available. In our case it will be conference, conference resource class that specifies conference URL with two methods. You can open it, open the, the, the class that specifies the, the resource and use open to open appropriate method that uh, serves the URL. There is also show URI menu to specify the, the URI for, for the for the RESTful resource. Time to deploy our application, our RESTful resources. So click servers view and select WebC application server v8. In the console view you can show you can see if the server is up and running. It is. You can you can see it by server server one open for e business. Let's switch to server view and use add and remove wizard to add our web application or enterprise application. If the server is started publish the, the, the changes will get published automatically. So we are waiting publishing and synchronized state of the web application server, which means that these, this enterprise ar archive is deployed. Let's see it in, in the console and you can see that the server starts this application conference year loads the web module called webconference.war we can test our resources checks rs resources with generic service client we can specify ws whistles or endpoints and we'll be using this show uri window to uh, specify this uri So use add endpoint request or add endpoint request under the endpoint node. Paste the URL, specify get method and press next. And then finish. With the endpoint defined, we can edit data, input data and invoke it invoke the RESTful resource. We got the response and also this URI, this request is included in request history. We'll define another URI for, for uh, our RESTful resource so we can specify ID and execute the other method. So instead of getting all the list of available conferences, we'll get just just a single single item of the list. Again, 
it's under endpoints we can edit data and press invoke to invoke the restful res resource we got this response as we expected this request is in request history so we can switch back and forth and see the, the responses of each request thanks for watching